Welcome back to the award-winning pod showcast that hasn't won any awards. Welcome to Dan and Ash. Do your name, do your name, do your name, do your name. And this week, I say this week, it's the very first time that I've ever done a podcast in my life. And I'm pretty sure, is this your first time? It is. It's we're both podcast well. virgins. And we're going to talk about the mania of manias, the wrestling of mania. Uh, number 35 in the um, in the long-running series. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of WrestleMania before, but um, it's quite, quite a big event on the table. Um, it's been pretty well known. And uh, what, what do you think of the card so far? Then we've got 15 announced matches. Three of them are... In fact, yeah, in fact, you know what to like start this off. Do you know how much of a pain this has actually been to to set up? I need to. I, I could do with like getting myself fueled up a little bit with the can. Let's crack that open. Is oh. it an original or is it a dark fruit? It's uh, just a regular. I'm still, I'm still, so, I'm still drinking the, uh, pussy, the, 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 the pussy juice. <laughs> Let's kick it off then, right. Shall we go through the uh, pre-show first? Let's go. Pre-show. This is the um, definite match of the night candidate. What do you think, uh, Buddy Murphy and Tony Nese? Do you, do you even know what's actually going on between I them? Mean, it's, is it... uh, it's an early stop for a bathroom break. <laughs> like, um, I can't say I do now. Um, I haven't seen any of 205 Live. I... To be honest, since probably the first few weeks of it. So, I literally watched the well, literally the first month, and then it just became uh, like a show. show. <laughs> it be, it, it, it's, it's literally like Raw SmackDown it main event NXT, and then yeah, from one person. Yeah. No, no, Old no, Enzo. I mean, as in, do you remember? Um, <laughs> I think they have still got it, actually. On, like, a Wednesday night, they have main event, which is, like, one hour. Oh, I forgot about main event. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so like each... five live as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in, so in the scale, you've got Raw, SmackDown, uh, NXT. What's what's next? Is that, is it 205, or is it um, the other one? Main event. I actually genuinely um... forgot the name of that then. <laughs> I think somewhere in there you've got like Total Bellas, Total Divas, like <laughs> Miz and Mrs. I was about to say Miz and Mrs. <laughs> new show, which he uh, very cheapenly plugged yeah. on her Raws watching the. Um, no, was it Raw or SmackDown? He plugged, no, it was SmackDown, wasn't it? SmackDown, he, yeah. He plugged it quickly saying, uh, um, uh, 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 what did he say? Something about like watch the uh, hard hitting show oh by the way I've I've got my own show which is coming straight after Smackdown tonight you can right. watch it and by the way this isn't a cheap plug and then he just got back on to talking about Shane yeah. um, but I have to agree with you there it is probably like Raw Smackdown uh, NXT NXT UK <laughs> yeah there's a lot of shows uh, 205 about. Uh, Miz and Mrs Total Bellas <laughs> and then <laughs> Somewhere down the line is probably two or five. I'd probably put Saturday night's main event in there. Probably Sunday night heat. It's not going, but it's <laughs> still better. It's still better than two or five anyway. No, um, a lot of things better than two or five. Like. Well, apparently that they had a a uh, a a tournament, um, which is quite annoying as well because Brian Kendrick got KO'd first. Um, he Kendrick was still in WWE, which is why... annoying. The the thing is, like, I used to genuinely love him when he did the the Brian Kendrick when gimmick. He had Big Zeke with him. Yeah, loved it. I thought yeah. that was genuinely proper it was entertaining. That, with his white leather jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a badass. Yeah, it's, it's like proper like nineteen ninety two style Shawn Michaels. Yeah, and then he got sacked for some reason. I can't remember what the reason being behind that was. Uh, big enough for Vince. Probably, <laughs> probably ain't got a big enough pain for Vince. Yeah, and. Uh, and then, yeah, he came back for 205 Live and genuinely haven't even heard of him since, which is mm. a massive shame. He's completely yeah. been underused. So the table went. Tony Nese beat Kalisto. Uh, Cedric beat Akira Tawaza. Again, no idea. Uh, and then they got it through to the semifinals, then the final, and then WrestleMania. Genuinely... Right, why is why is there a two hundred five match, but there's no NXT match? I completely don't get me wrong. 
NXT, it's for development only. They shouldn't be yeah. on pay-per-view. They shouldn't be on Raw. They shouldn't be on SmackDown. It's basically training them up to, to actually be coming onto the main roster. But what's the difference between 205 and NXT, apart from NXT being extremely better than um, 205? I think some people would probably argue with uh, Ricochet and mm-hmm. Black being on the card. That's probably NXT's involvement and because NXT have got the night before. They've got their own show, sort of thing. I mean, we can we can talk about that in a bit because uh, they were in a a late announced match. Yeah. Um. Later on, but I I love Black and I love uh, Ricochet, Ricochet, Ricochet. <laughs> they are they're. I, f- I think I think they're the different yeah. future. They're different to anything else that's been on Raw SmackDown in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I. I loved Black years ago when he first came into NXT. He had that awesome Gangrel style like, um, yeah, entrance. Yeah. And then, um, how long do you think it'll be until he loses his awesome entrance and then just gets uh, relegated to a straight straight ring walk? And just becomes be called Alistair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they I can't just use his surname. You'll have a load of yeah. SGWs crying. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on then. Murphy, Nice. This is uh, for the coveted uh, Cruiserweight the champion Championship. Now? Uh, buddy, he um, won that at Crown Jewel, was it? I think it was Crown Jewel he won. Okay, um, change of fans then, the other guy, Tony Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, don't I care. don't know who's, who, who's the goodie, <laughs> who's the baddie. I I'm ain't got a clue. With, I'm going Nice. I'll go with Murphy then, just to spice, just to spice things up. up. <laughs> but genuinely couldn't that that's as as you said earlier on that's that's an extremely early bathroom break yeah women's battle royal which used to be called the uh what what was that used to, that was that was the um um um, um i forgot what it was called oh the uh, fabulous Moolah uh yeah. memorial battle oh, royal yeah, until came out about her suddenly. a lot of shit came out about <laughs> yeah. her which um I was actually quite surprised that, like, why why was that only brought up after after this whole situation? Like, I don't understand why everybody just came out all of a sudden and said, "Oh, she used to fondle with people." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Same thing with like all anyone who worked for BBC in the fucking sixties and seventies doesn't come out until after, does it? It's the same thing with the Michael Jackson case. I've I've exactly. watched that at uh, Finding Neverland. Um, oh, that's bullshit. It took me. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. This is this is what we're best mates. Yeah. This is. I, I, it took me genuinely all week to watch the first part. Uh, I was I was watching like I was trying to watch about fifteen minutes a night, and it was just it was bullshit. shoddy. It was so it was. fucking stupid. It was it was a one sided thing from like um, someone who had been involved with Michael for years, lint, like took money from his family and Michael for year after year after year, and then when it all drew up, he decided to go do this documentary. It's fucking yeah. stupid. He just ran then, out of money, wanted more. And then you had you had uh, Macaulay Culkin and uh, the other guy, the other kid that I can't remember his name. But uh, both of them have uh, both come out and they said no. He's he's not even yeah. attempted to touch us. Like that's that's all complete bullshit. Oh, yeah. and, um, so I, I don't. Know. I, I just don't. I just ignore it all now. Like, yeah, it's just pointless. Yeah, I, 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 as I said, I, I tried. I tried watching the documentary. I finally got through the first the first part last night, and I, I was just like, nah, this is yeah. this is no bullshit. All right, who, who have you got anyway? Um. We have, okay, uh, Dinah Brooke, Mickey James, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Asuka, don't get me started on that whole Asuka series, Carmella, uh, Naomi, Lana, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Zelina Vegas, and Nikki Cross, who's apparently a free agent, not classed as NXT. Um, I'll, I'm going to go with Asuka. Should I write these down, actually? Let's, let's grab the old notepad. Let's tuck to that to the side. Let's um, uh, uh, niece. Um, okay, let's do Ash, niece, uh, Dan, Murphy. You're going for Asuka. 
Asuka? Yeah. Hmm. Decent call. Because... Yeah, the Sam tour last <clears throat> night at the end of SmackDown. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, I saw that this afternoon. That was just like so cheesy. Threw out Jeff Hardy and stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, that they did the it exact was same the thing. Match ever. They did the exact same thing on Raw, where they basically demonstrated how a battle royal works, and it's like stop yeah, treating yeah. us like fucking retards. I know. <laughs> it was I know how a battle royal works. Um, Asuka did stand tall, but I am gonna probably. I don't care, but uh, Sonya, I like. I like Sonya. Because I, I like, like Sonya too. I think I think she's got she could MMA actually do side. something. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm with you on that. The MMA sort of style's nice. I like that. I'm gonna talk about that a lot later on when we get to um Lesnar and Rosie anyway. Okay, but, um, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. I'm I'm expecting good things and I know exactly who you're gonna say on this one. <laughs> I think there's only uh, one person who can win it. <laughs> and that is last year's tag team champion. <laughs> undefeated. Now 11 year old. <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> hey, you know what I've always wondered? What's happened to Nicholas? If, if only there was some like awesome uh, video package which is explaining what he's been doing for the past year or so. Well, I would love that. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. <laughs> you go onto the WWE's YouTube. Not only, well, and actually, the only thing that's on there is uh, where is Nicholas now video. <laughs> You'll see his training, and it's obvious in the video he's training for this year's WrestleMania. <laughs> I, I was watching. Uh, I was watching the. Uh, the Raw After Mania promo that he did with Braun last year and yeah, the yeah. pop of the crowd oh, yeah, absolutely cracked me up where so like it started off with Braun going, hey, yeah, we need to relinquish these these, these titles and then uh, Conflict in Kurt, <laughs> Kurt goes, well, um, 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 speaking about um, speaking about uh, Nicholas, where, uh, where is he? He's he's just right here, Kurt. He's been standing here all the time. <laughs> and then just to like, <laughs> the crowd just completely popped massively. And then just to finish it all off, you got Nicholas going. Um, I'm I'm coming back at some point, and somebody's gonna get these hands. <laughs> and I'm fucking out. I laughed so much. That was mm. that was genius. Absolute genius writing. I absolutely love that. That's, um, that's, uh, I think that's when like, WWE that is its best when it doesn't take itself too seriously sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It just has a but joke. Right? At the same time that they do take themselves not serious enough at some point. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. As in, like, I completely understand that that the whole thing, um, it's all, it's obviously all very kiddie based, which is the whole reason of why Nicholas won last year. Um, but I, 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 I don't know. It's it's just a bit too much for me sometimes, and no, I just, no, definitely. I, I just have to turn me off. All right, Strowman, Michael, Shay, Colin, Joust. Ever heard of them? I've seen a bit of like Saturday Night Live and stuff, so I know a bit. Of, I've seen a bit of Joust and uh, Shay, but they're only in there to make Bron look strong, aren't they? I only know one person from Saturday Night Live, and that's uh, Keenan. <laughs> that's generally the only person that I know. Like Which if, stuff used to do it back in the uh, did he? Eight, yeah, eighties, nineties. Well, if they brought uh, Keenan in to uh, do something instead of these <laughs> Chi and Jazz things, then I'll be a lot more inclined to care. Uh, but this is this is just a show. This is just a uh, an attention bringer match. Obviously, oh, just yeah, because yeah, yeah. they got the um, Saturday Night guys in. Um, Lince Dorado, who the hell's that? Uh, apparently he's on Raw. Who? I've never heard of him. Uh, according to, to to Wikipedia, Lince, Lince Dorado is a, a Puerto Rican professional wrestler. He's currently signed with WWE on the Raw and 205. Oh, okay. Some, someone in 205, apparently. Okay. Don't say never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not It's not Raw, is it? Let's face it. Um... 
I'm going to go for... No, I'm not going to go for Linz. Uh, I... Uh, I yeah, I've 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 got a surprise. I've got a surprise uh, guess. I'm gonna go for a returning Bray. A returning Bray Wyatt. I do you think, think Do you think there'll be I, any other uh, surprises, returns or anything? I think you'll see Flair on the show, but we'll talk about that later in a different match. Um I'm not too sure. Like, there's normally always a surprise. I think I can most see, of them um, you'll see backstage. I can see uh, Hogan uh, poli- uh, politicking his way in, into the uh, battle royal, saying, "But uh, this is my match, brother. I, I'm the one yeah, that slammed uh, Andre. Yes, yeah. I need to be in this match." And then he's, <laughs> he's going to get the final down. two, and someone <laughs> will throw him out. Yeah, I uh, love uh, Hogan going. Well, I'm only doing this match if. If I eliminate Stroh- uh, um, uh, uh, Strowman last, because <laughs> yeah, Strowman's yeah, yeah. Andre, and I'm Hulk Hogan, and you know, and I body slam, I can see that happen. But um, I'm yeah. going to stick-, stick with Bray. Um, see, with Bray, I think he'd be better coming back the night after. You think? Yeah, I think the think- pop would be bigger on the Monday night. Do you think Raw. that's a bit too expected, though? Probably, but you know, the crowds on. On those rows are normally insane. So, like, you'll have, you'll have coming back on Monday. Um. Uh, it's gone out of my head. Who's who? Who will be making a surprise? Who's who's injured at the moment? Sami Zayn. Zayn. That's 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 exactly the person that I was trying to think of. Yeah. Zayn. Yeah. Sami Zayn uh, will be coming back on Monday. Um. There'll be. Johnny Gargano uh, being called up to a, from NXT, um, which actually begs to like think what's what's the situation with Ricochet and Alistair Black? Like they can't really be NXT and Raw for that much longer, surely? No, that I'd imagine not. They've they've got to be having the official call up at some point. I didn't. Well, they've got think. the um, superstar shaker in about a oh, month's yeah. time, haven't they? Yeah, so it I'd was. I'd imagine that everything's part of that. Possibly, yeah. Then, then, uh, then I'm guessing that there'll be official, official members of either Raw or SmackDown. Where do you, uh, where do you think I'd imagine that they'll Smackdown be going? If they're going to take the... I think so too. Yeah. I think. I think. Especially with the whole situation <clears throat> of um, SmackDown going three hours yeah. in November, being passed over to Fox, um, they've got to build up a bunch of big names like. I can see potentially Brock not coming back, but having more dates than what he normally does. They won't put him on Raw. They'll put him on SmackDown. Fox is paying them way too much. Um, yeah, they'll be stupid. Oh, to there's put like rumours that they're probably going to push Roman onto there as well. I think, think so too. Yeah, I think I think, I think Seth on Raw, Roman on SmackDown. I think they kind of got to do that at the same time. Like Roman still isn't as over as what they want him to be. So no, they'll no. kind of possibly treat SmackDown as um, n- not not a training ground for him but a sort of just fresh start a way him. to just build to him up go again yeah. and then um, at some point might put him back into the title pitch which I, f- I like him I do like him but I don't like him and I prefer not to see him in the title picture I prefer to see him mid card mid mid to upper card but give him the US title or something he can have that well, have that for a year. Yeah, make that <laughs> prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Strowman, Shay, Jaws, Cruz. I do. I, I do like Apollo Cruz. Titus O'Neil, Breeze, uh, Ginger Mahal, No Jose, Rude, Gable, Cleese. Uh, there's so fucking many. I'm not yeah. gonna name them all. Uh, who's your pick? If it's not Nicholas, I I think I'll go. <laughs> of course, go Nicholas. With, not Nicholas. Um, I'll go with Strowman. No, no, go on, go on, Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> How could they not? He's he's the definite future. He'll be uh he'll be, he'll be he'll <laughs> be he could he couldn't he couldn't even pick up the bloody uh, tag team belts, you know, no. let, let alone them. Why is flipping jeeps now? <laughs> it, I genuinely love that. Picking up that toy jeep. Uh, that is that's that's the pre show. 
Um, no particular order. Like I'm just going from the uh, Wikipedia um, table anyway, because uh, okay, yeah. it seems that they've put the main events top. And anyway, Usos Ricochet Black versus the Bar Tag Team Titles SmackDown. Oh, and uh, Shinsuke and Rusev as well. I didn't know they were in it. Apparently they are. I don't know why you'd put them in and over Hardys. Right. Unless Bray's going to come back surprise in the Battle Royal, and then you'll have uh, you'll have Matt and Matt and Bray do something. I guess, but last year Matt returned. No, Bray returned last year. To the battle royale to help Matt win. Oh, he did actually, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, they probably won't do it twice then. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I definitely see your point. Hardy's should have been in there. Uh, do you think they might slot them in five way? No, because I think they've announced them for the battle royale. Yeah, yeah, but would they? Would they? Oh, no, the the they probably wouldn't. Put them no. into that as well. No, I totally see your point. Um, uh, my picks are my favourites. Um, Usos are going in as champs. Um, just signed a new deal as well. Usos. Have they? The pay rise. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I <laughs> they're doing family ties and stuff, and they've been with the company long enough. But the shit. <laughs> I think they've got better. You think? I think they're better as heels. Oh, much much better as heels, but much better than the bloody. When I say oos, you say oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the I, Jesus! Uh, every time I cringe so bad. It was <laughs> it was that was fucking yeah. shit. Um, uh, I I am gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I want Ricochet and Black to win. Um. <laughs> Usos to retain. Um, I'll say Ricochet and Black. Otherwise, nice. what's the point of the match? Why would it have got added? There's already enough matches if they weren't going to switch over the tiles. Yeah, but then would that mean that they're going to be transferred to SmackDown? I think so. I think if they're trying to switch SmackDown into the A show, might as well give it to them too. Do you think they're too new though? Um, I don't think so. No, I've, I've, I think they're good enough. They've I been think, around on the shows for a few weeks now. I think. Yeah, people, people seem to know who they are. Up. Like the non-watchers from NXT seem to know who they are anyway. Yeah. Um. Uh, when did Brian Kingston yet? Yeah, okay, the um the next exciting long toilet break. Bus and hug. Connection versus Divas of Doom versus Iconics versus Jackson Tamina. Um, another nice toilet break. What's 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 with the awful team naming? They've got to have team names, Daniel. <laughs> and they've got to go right. So what? So what's your name? Um, this is my name. If we do half of my name, half of your name, that makes us look look like actually look like a tag team, and then. We're going to be a proper tag team then. Although, the Divas of Doom... I don't... Who are they? Uh, Phoenix... Beth Phoenix and... and uh, okay. Natalia. Um, yeah, I know. I know exactly. I know exactly who, who I'm going to go for in that one then. What I don't get right is... They had... Um, Beth Phoenix have a comeback match on Raw the other day. What's the point? If did you? Yeah, I, I actually went... haven't watched Raw. I've only seen the highlights on YouTube. Well, she had a match there. That's the comeback match, isn't it? What's the point of seeing her again? <laughs> Je- well, like, I, she, looked, I know... she looked. She looked like she hadn't skipped a beat. I won't lie. Yeah, but yeah, but people say that. But she's only really been out of the game for like what four or five years. No, oh, six. That's or seven. that's not that long. It's not, but she finished early. She left at like 32. She's only 38 now. She departed in 2012, and then she came back... Seven years. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so... 
Um, she was in the Hall of Fame and she was a part-time commenter from 2017 yeah. and now she's just doing her in-ring return as of now. Um, I thought I thought she was in the I thought she was in the the Women's Royal Rumble, weren't she last last year? Last year? No, she did the commentary for it. Ah, okay. Okay, in that okay, fine. Then that's what's that? 2012. Uh, so she left 2012 and she's come back. Okay, yeah, fine for it. That's 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 been like seven years, which is still which is still quite a quite a long time there. To be I fair, I think they could have done something better than have her in a tag match. Yeah, they could have just kept the title on Asuka and just had her go for after Asuka or something. No, I definitely. It would have been a better match for her. I completely understand why they've taken the belt off of Asuka onto a Charlotte instead. Because now it's looking even more likely because Lynch is going after two two champions. And it's like, oh my god, all oh, the odds are oh, against yeah. her. How How's she going to do this? Just having the same image as they did in WrestleMania 30 with Daniel Bryan. Yes. The two belts. That's, yeah, that's, that's literally exactly what they're doing. Um... But I'm going to go with uh, Phoenix and Nat- and Natalia, and it's going to be a nice toilet break anyway. Um, I'll say um, the boss and hug. Is that to retain name? the yeah. boss and hug? That's just. I'm, I'm not just... sure how long Beth's back, so I don't know if it is just for the one last show and then. But the yeah. reason why I say Beth and, and Natalia because they'll make a big deal, obviously, because um, Jim nailed Hart, uh, her dad's into gone the, into the Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah. They'll probably make a, a big deal because he's died and they seem to be making a, a big deal over uh, Natalia since yeah. he has died. I, I get that. Um, that. So that's literally why. Yeah, that's 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 my given anyway. That's that's my point. Uh, Reigns and Drew. I can only see it going one way, but it's mm-hmm. not the way I'd like it to. I'm glad. I, like, I'm glad Drew's kind of being given a high high profile match. Yeah, oh, no, I know definitely. He that. I think. I think since he's kind of been back, he's done some really good stuff. Like I prefer his like aggressive sort of style compared to playing a fake guitar with free MB. No, come on, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but no, I'd say Roman. I saw Drew a couple of uh, a couple of years, probably about two years ago. He was in ICW. I went ICW to yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Do you know how big he is? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Maybe it was at the same show then, the one in the O2 Academy. Was you? Yeah, in Brum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but were you sitting? Well, standing. I'd like I was there to um, where the entrance was, just to the right of there. Oh shit! Okay. I was I was the I was the okay. So I was the opposite side. Do you remember when uh, Drew went uh, brawling and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. At the, the start of his match, Drew ac- Drew actually walked past me. Oh, I'm and I, I was right. Now nah, Bagwell was. He was having just a night there. off. Just for that, I get it. Just there for entertainment. <laughs> he needed a chill, and um, yeah. So when they went to the bar, I I was literally standing right next to. Him. Do you know how tall he is? It's like it's fucking six huge. Five, right? The guy's massive. Genuinely, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you don't like as in tall and built as well. Yeah, you yeah. Don't, yeah. Well, I, I don't. I don't personally expect people from the uh, UK to like be like that. But fucking, I don't know how natural that is. Jesus Christ, he's big. He's a huge it's, guy. It's mad. Like I think sometimes when you see them all together, obviously they don't look big, but you put them next to like an average human being, they're freaking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally what he was like when he walked past me. It's like, fuck it. I was like, pick prop. You're uh, tall. Elias on Reddit the other day, and like he looked freaking huge, like against a normal person. Yeah. How tall is uh, Elias? Well, what's he build as anyway? Um, Elias wrestler. He's build at six foot. Fuck off. He's definitely taller than six no. foot. I'm I'm five eleven. He's definitely taller than me. Surely he wouldn't be higher otherwise. Apparently, apparently he's six foot, but 
I don't. I don't. I'm gonna send you the picture. Of, uh, like it looks freaking big, man. Like when he's put next to a normal person. I'm yeah. saying that the normal person is like a big guy as well. All oh, right. Let me. Uh, let me. I'll bring up on my phone because. God, he's actually quite big. Who yeah. is that guy? I, I kind of recognise him. Just a gym him. owner. Uh, the uh, just the gym. Might have to blur this out. Okay, that that would do. That's that's apparently Elias. Just brought it up on my WhatsApp web. Probably where you can't see. Um, yeah, I love I love the fact that they've put Drew in in a very high profile match. I it's obviously going to go one way. Uh, winner being Reigns. Um, Drew is going to get some decent offence in but it's not it's not going to be a squash but it's definitely just, just going to go towards Reigns anyway yeah um, it's, it's I, I don't gonna think gonna it's going to be more than that it's just can't both it on can't Reigns then they can't yeah both on Reigns um, Lashley and the Demon Finn finally um, finally, finally. After all the matches we've had on Raw of just normal <laughs> thing versus Bobby Lashley. Where, where was uh, when was the last time Finn was the demon? SummerSlam? A couple of years ago? It's been a while. Two two something years ago? It's didn't Which... someone in like ten seconds when he came out as the demon because they weren't expecting him as the demon. I can't remember who it was though. There. But um I love the fact that they're not overusing it. Um, yeah. If you saw it every month, you'll get bored. Oh no, definitely. Uh, but I think they need they 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 need to use that gimmick more. Um, yeah. I, you you have to use it at least twice a year minimum. Just do it mainly in SummerSlam. Your two biggest shows. It's easy, I know. Point. All right, but I don't like the fact they've announced it. It would have been better. <laughs> Yes. When the lights go out, pitch black, and then oh the God, smoke comes up and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Make that, it a bit like people would have been expecting it. And don't worry, like, but have the have the surprise of it still. Definitely agree. But then you're just having uh, fucking Michael Cole sh- shut down the mic. This is Finn's WrestleMania <laughs> moment. Yes. All right. All right, mate. Shut up. Just mute. <laughs> You should have uh, the power on the network to mute. Yeah, just mute, just mute a commentator. Yeah. Or, yeah, like I would rather hear the uh, French commentator <laughs> speak rather than bloody Michael Cole. Um, un- undefeated Michael Cole at WrestleMania. Um, <laughs> Lashley and Finn. I'm actually quite looking forward to this simply because I like, I like um, Leo Rush. He like Leo Rush. I wouldn't put him. I wouldn't put him on the same level as as Heyman, but I can definitely see him being not as good as Heyman, but he'll be at that yeah, okay, yeah. maybe some point. Um I think I think I think uh I think um Rush is very good on the mic. He's very naturally talented. Yeah, he's one of uh, the better things to come from uh two or five. Oh yeah, he was actually, wasn't he? He was two yeah. or five. He was a two uh, he was a uh, two hundred five veteran. Um, <laughs> finally got himself onto the main roster. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Lashley's going in as champion. Barla's obviously going in as challenger. Uh, Who have you got? Um, I'm gonna just say because if it was normal Bobby versus normal Finn, I'd have gone with Bobby. But I think because it's the demon, you've got to take the demon. They're gonna make a spectacle out of it, aren't they? Let's face it. I'm going to be Finn as well, yeah. although I might change that to Lashley depending on how many of the same uh, same matches that we change uh, that we okay. pick together. But um, yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be a nice feel good moment. Um, Lashley will obviously show power. Uh, Leo's going to be all oh I can cheat and oh you can't catch me and then boom. You're gonna oh, have um, you're gonna have Barla going. Oh, I've caught you, Leo. And then he's gonna be like, Oh no! <laughs> then he's gonna, be, I got you. Oh no! Oh help! Oh, and then yeah, Barla's just gonna destroy. 
Uh, Joe and Ray, is this going to happen? Um, I am not sure. Is it an ankle injury, did they say? That's it. Uh, Ray had a, um, a, a, a house show on, on Monday night, I think it was. And apparently he's he's quite in the shit at the moment. Well, he was meant uh, to be having a match against Angle on Raw on Monday, but he couldn't oh, was it? his ankle, yeah. Oh, okay, was it Sunday then, uh, when he injured it, I'm guessing? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Um, if it's going to happen... I don't even know what the story behind it is. It's 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 a shame because Joe, because I fucking love Joe. Joe's brilliant. Yeah, um, yeah. They need to let him be a bit more legit well, in his the, uh, wasn't wrestling really style. A story. It was when our truth had the title. He kept doing the open challenges. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then um, Ray come out. Andrade come out. Joe come out. They all answered the challenge. They did a four way. That went on for a few weeks. Andrade's not just somehow been dropped. So our truth disappeared. And now it's just left with them two. But I don't know. I'd, if it done happen, maybe Cena? Open challenge? Think, possibly? I could see that, actually. I could see Joe walking out going, Oh, raise her, his ankle, lol. Um, I need a challenger. Da, da, John Cena sucks. John yep. Cena sucks. That that'd be amazing. And then yeah, like what what is I'd what is happening Joe. to Cena? Um, Cena just hasn't. He hasn't even been been mentioned at all. Him and Taker's not been mentioned in the slightest. No. Nope. When it comes to this mania, which I find uh, weird, but they're gonna. They're. I can I can I can see them doing something similar to what they did with uh, Sean, Austin, and Foley a couple of years ago, when that mania was like really weak and they had no star power, so they just brought them oh, yeah. at the start of the show. I think it was. I can see them doing something similar with uh, Hogan, uh, Cena. Taker won't do it. Um, as far as I'm aware, Take has not even been advertised for the show. Like his he's name not, hasn't no. even been hasn't been mentioned once. So is he going to turn up? To be fair, I can see if Ray can't if Ray can't uh, if Ray can't wrestle, I can see Cena taking his place. Feel good moment because either way, I can see um, if the match does go ahead, I I reckon that Ray's going to win. Um, that's just going to be a, a feel good moment for the kids. Um, the um, smallest big man, blah blah blah, all, all that shit gimmick. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just beating the uh, the big bad bully, um, S- um, Samoa Joe. So if it does, if if it does go through, I've got Ray. Who are you go for? I'm going with Joe. Joe, nice. I think it's more of a hopeful, wishful thinking. Yeah. Than what I'm thinking, but I'll take Joe. Do that for now. Um, Orton has started his uh, Wrestlemania entrance two months ago um, he should hopefully be in the ring on time um, Borton versus AJ because um, I see them switching AJ over to Raw yeah yeah, I could see um, that I can see them giving it to Randy is this even a match for anything it's, no. just a, it's just a normal singles match, isn't it? I think it's bragging rights, isn't it? All right. Um, I've not followed the story. Uh, all that I know is Orton attacked Angle when it was Angle versus AJ. Um, reason behind that, as far as I'm aware, is obviously Angle can't wrestle long matches anymore. No, he's just he's just too old. I, I was um. I was watching um, a, a, a video of when he was in Impact, probably mate, twelve something years ago, and it's so weird, like the um, size of his neck um, then compared to what it is now. It's like what what the fuck has he done to his neck? It is like full on like puffed out. It's 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 messed. Um, I don't think he's going to be. Uh, yeah, so the whole Orton attacking Angle, that was just to stop Angle from having 
um, a long match. No, he, he didn't attack Angle. He attacked AJ, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he, literally just to stop him from having a long match anyway. Uh, I don't know the story apart from that. It's just going to be a regular throwaway breakish kind the of match. I don't think like anything ex- exciting is, is going to happen. The story is that... Um, Randy Orton's got tired of AJ saying he built SmackDown. It was the house is built because Randy Orton was on SmackDown ten years before AJ even got there, while AJ was wrestling in the bingo halls and school gyms. Um, and that's basically it, and how both of their careers have accumulated to where they are now. Well, at least AJ didn't get there because his dad was in the WWF. So that's pretty mm, much the story. That's pretty much to the you, story from AJ then. <laughs> oh, is it really? <laughs> the, the promos have been all right, to be honest. They did one on SmackDown last night on the Kevin Owens show. Um, they were all right. Has Owens been announced for anything? Nope. I think he They've was got to originally. Be some of them. I think he was originally scheduled to be in the title match versus Brian. Oh, really? But apparently the rumour is that he stepped aside for Kofi. Aw. Oh, even though he was a complete bastard heel like a, like less than a year ago. But oh, he yeah. suddenly grew a heart and he thought, ah, oh, poor, oh, you know, poor soon, Kofi. He, he could still definitely like be the first opponent if Kofi wins. Probably. Yeah. Goes out to celebrate like he does with everyone and then fucking yeah. boom pop up powerbomb done. <laughs> Go for dead. Uh AJ Orton, who who who've you got then? I'll take Orton. Um try to skim through the the uh, card and try and make it like like what I I don't know, I don't care. Uh I don't know. Um, I'll just go AJ then, just for, just for Bantz. Um, Shane and Miz. Um, I said this. I don't know. I'm just, it's not really a match that's excited me. Um, I was kind of bored of their whole tag team because you know what was going to happen in the end. And yeah. The whole tag team was like they tried to make it feel like it was what the fans wanted by them trying to naturally come together mm. but it was completely fucking forced it was awful um, I I enjoyed it for what it was uh, I knew obviously they were going to split up yeah. uh, my money was on um, my money was on Miz to turn because um, okay, yeah. in my opinion he's he's just the natural better heel although oh, to be quite right. honest having Shane uh, is Shane still the GM of Smackdown um, there's not really a GM anymore is there I think he kind of is but they try to say there is no GM ok because uh, as far as what I saw didn't Miz have a uh, he had a three on one handicap match last night. Falls count anywhere, yeah. Yeah, and then Shane came out and said, Oh, by the way, it's Falls Count Anywhere, just like our match on Sunday. So yeah, the yeah. fans can see what a Falls Count Anywhere match is. But yeah, yeah. And we yeah, we can pretty much guess what a Falls Count Anywhere match consists <laughs> yeah. of. It, it, you, don't, you don't have to in, insult her intelligence or anything. Um and then I uh, didn't he the week before set up Miz for a Gauntlet match or something, or am I talking shit? I can't um, remember. I think the week before it was another handicap match, but just a. Uh, I know the week before it was. It was just an attack on him. Ah, okay. From Sanity, who have for some reason become Shane's henchmen. Right. That's why they had the, the three on one handicap last night. Yeah. That makes sense, right? There, Shane's putty man. I'm guessing you're not excited for this match then. Then no. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a good spot where Shane goes coast to coast off. Shane will do something backstage. stupid. Yeah. yeah, he's always got to try and take the uh, the the, uh, the spotlight off 
off of, off of everybody else. I can do, I can see him something like building a, building, climbing a structure or something yeah. like that, and he'll do something stupid that way. And he'll miss, um, and I think with Miz wins from Shane's own. You think I, I? I've 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 got the Miz, but I can see him going over clean. Uh, his dad probably uh, will get involved, but he won't get involved somehow, um, which won't cost Shane, but he'll lose. Some, okay, if yeah. that if that makes sense, um, yeah, I get it. He'll be there, but he'll... The Miz will go over clean, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but, yeah, Miz? Yeah, Miz. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, the match which is going to piss off the crowd the most. Angle versus Corbin. I know who you think. I'm annoyed. Why? I what, Why? That makes no sense. Oh, it's because... It's because Corbin, he 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 put he made Angle look stupid years ago when he was <laughs> he was the GM and so so you know because them two have got a connection that way so that makes sense for them to do that no bullshit yes that's stupid it's there's been rumours like for the past couple of weeks ever since that was announced that they're gonna somehow switch, switch it, it for Cena they need to do it's something it. it's yeah that no one's gonna fucking care that. The whole crowd does care. The whole crowd's either going to go one or two ways. They're going to be completely silent for Angle's so-called final match, um, or they're going to be just chanting bullshit or boring or something like that. The reason why I think it's going to be um, uh, why why I put in air quotes Angle's final match. He ain't he ain't going to retire. Uh, he'll probably run his contract out. Might go to. Um, Alpha Elite Wrestling, whatever the fuck it's called, um, AEW, yeah. AEW, and he'll make a bit of money there, and then he'll probably retire for good. How how old is he? He's, he's got to be, he's, he's, he's got to be turning fifties. He's fifty. He's fifty. There you go. Um, he is old. Fifty is a fucking old um, age for a wrestler. I mean, he's been doing it since nineteen. Oh, but, Apparently, I, I thought it was 1999. Unless it was late 98, I'm guessing. I don't know. But um, I, gen I genuinely really liked him. I, I, I thought I thought Angle was always one of the best. I used um, to love him when he used to uh, feud with Lesnar. Like, at that point, like, yeah. he was just like my favourite thing on any sort of show. I stopped, I stopped watching wrestling in like 2002, 2003. Uh, okay, so yeah. I didn't really see Angle much then, um, but his stuff, his his uh, actually no, uh, two thousand three when he did his stuff with um, with Austin when both of them couldn't wrestle for various yeah, yeah. injury reasons and uh, they were just doing like brilliant uh, backstage skits uh, like with the whole small uh, cowboy hat for Angle, yeah, and then yeah. his feud with Edge a couple of years later. Um, that was all. That was brilliant. I've always, always liked the angle, um, but for him to go against Baron uh, for his final match, that's a bit of an insult. Uh, they need to, they need to replace him. I mean, everybody's been saying uh, replace Baron with Cena since Cena's first match on SmackDown. Well, <laughs> yeah. his first ever match was against Kurt, and why, why have you not? Why, why? I mean, it was the easiest thing to do. It was just easy. Like yeah. the writing was so it was already done for him. The story was the fans wanted it and like it was I just don't know, page dog out, okay. Easy. I think it's just uh they need they need someone that can put over Kurt. No, sorry, that Kurt can put over a young guy. And get some rugs and on. he's yeah, he's 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 gonna get something out of it. And they are, they they simply can't have a, a long match with Angle. Um, no. I don't think it's going to go more than five minutes, or they'll probably just uh, prance uh, prance around the ring for five minutes, and then they might do a little bit in the ring, try and total it to like ten it's minutes. Match of the night. Hundred percent, I think so. Um, Angle's just too old. He's just too busted up. Um, 
he just needs to make an appearance and say goodbye and he'll yeah. put Corbin out on on his way out so unfortunately I obviously want Kurt to win but I've got Baron I'm just going to say Kurt nice and, and, yeah and, I, I don't know uh, they might go out with a good feeling but I think it will like, either way win or lose because he'll still get a stand innovation Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, he'll get his old um, Ric Flair style um, goodbye and that. Um, let's go to the uh, first of five. One, two, three. Now, four, four main events Brian and Kofi. I'm going. I'll go straight in with my yes, no. I'll, I'll say it's going to be Kofi. No, I say bro. Oh, uh, yeah. I know, I know you do. I know. I, I, I want. I want. Okay, I want Brian because I love. I, I love his whole vegan save the world, save the planet gimmick. I oh, think I it's it. fucking brilliant. I don't um, think they've used enough of it in the build up. No, I only watched the confrontation, the contract signing with Kofi, yeah, yeah. and he barely spoke. Um, he he. He barely spoke anything about his gimmick or anything. Like he no, said, no, no. he said something briefly about wanting to educate people, yeah, which yeah. I think is brilliant. Do that. That's yeah. so annoying. But his, 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 the best thing is about that whole thing was the crowd chanting, "You're an asshole!" Like asshole. Mm. Like heels don't get that these days. No. Like, and it's not because he's like a Baron Corbin or he's boring. It's because of. It like slag it off the crowd and slag it yeah. off what they want and stuff and it's perfect. Well, I loved his line a couple of weeks ago when um, uh, Kofi and Vince were in the ring and they were talking. Then uh, Brian came out and then he that that one line just cracked me up where he goes, "Let's just bring up some guys from NXT. Let's just call <laughs> them Fresh Afternoon and let's just have them prance down from from pancake." Fresh afternoon. That is fucking genius. I love I, that. I think it's, it's been brilliant. Like since his, since he had his match with Brock, well, probably with the one with AJ, and then when he went on to face Brock, like since then, don't think anyone's been better than Brian. Whether it's like as a champion, yeah, he's. he's worked it. Obviously, when he went against um, Brock, that was. That was a bit of a waste. I understand why they did that. Like, yeah, reasonably, you can't see Daniel Bryan beating Brock fucking Lesnar. Um, no. To have him demolished like that within like what five minutes was it? It's a bit of a shame. But since then, he came back out. I haven't, I haven't really watched SmackDown too much. Um, not very often, if I'm honest. Um, but I did. But I try and watch as much of this whole vegan character gimmick as much as I can. I think it's genius. They they need to scrap Rowan off. Um, yeah. I think he's boring. Fucking boring. I don't yeah. I don't like him. Um, he doesn't need a henchman. No, not at all. Even then, like you look at Rowan and you go, oh, "I'm not really intimidated by him." Being honest, no. But um, they they, they, they literally just uh, put him together with with. Brian, just because you well, we need to do something with you. We can't just pay you to sit at home doing nothing. Um, but yeah, I, I just love the whole um, attitude era style kind of gimmick of this is who you are in real life. Let's switch it up five hundred percent, and let's just let you just go wild with it. And then I'm yeah. just coming out with like a fucking vegan style belt um, oh, made of hemp. I the thought that was. Best thing. It's the best custom belt <laughs> since uh, since the Rocks or Stone Cold's um, smoking school belt. Yeah, like, Stone Cold was amazing, and that was what like twenty years ago. Like every single other custom belt has just been shit. Um, trying to tell me that John Cena's spinner doesn't hold. Apart it. from Cena's belt, because Cena's <laughs> belt was amazing. <laughs> Why did they even think that was a oh, good idea? <laughs> Uh, okay, I I'm I'm gonna simply go with Brian. You've got uh, you got Kofi. Kofi. And, um, but they could go the other way. I think so too. Um, the New Day are gonna be banned from ringside. They're gonna have 
you can practically predict what's going to happen. Rowan's going to try and get involved, and then New Day is going to come down and stop him, and ah, all havoc's going to wreak out. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're going to really throw it up to Kofi. I think they they'll probably possibly do um, a summer program with him and Brian, maybe. Um, or at least the next. Uh, that'll be backlash. Um, is it backlash? What's backlash that follows? What's after it, Mania? Yeah. It is backlash, isn't backlash, it? Backlash, yeah. Previous next. I oh, know it's Money in the Bank. I oh, know that's yeah, yeah. It's uh, Money in the Bank, which is next. Yeah. Uh, couldn't Wikipedia. It's backlash, then Money in the Bank. I thought that. Unless have they have they scrapped that? Maybe. Uh, current NXT Raw Rumble Worlds, Worlds Collide. What even was that? Elimination Chamber, Fastlane, WrestleMania, D- uh, WWE in Saudi Arabia, uh, Money in the Bank, and then it's Backlash. Um, okay, fair oh, enough. Yeah. Money in the Bank 2019. I thought, I thought that was June, wasn't it, normally? Yeah. April, May. So that's has that been pulled back to May? May 19th. Um, don't don't say that date. You can't say that uh, date. May 19th. Why? Kane. Oh, Kane years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 2006 Kane. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. I Okay, so round it up. You've got Kofi, I've got Brian. We'll be back after this short break. So, Triple H Batista. Who do you think? Did you see Batista's promo the other day? I actually didn't get around to watching it, no. Okay, um, well, it was only three words. Really? Well, yeah. Four, maybe? Yeah, four. I saw the video was like three, four minutes long on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's because most of it's a video package. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well, video and like package he... followed by Kiss My Ass, and then he drops the mic and walks. Oh, really? I need to watch that. <laughs> he actually came down to the ring just to say, kiss my ass, and he fucked up. Yeah, he came down to the ring, pointed at the screen. <laughs> then, then, then there was a three-minute video. Oh, uh, what was the video about? It was just uh, pretty much him beating up Triple H over the years. <laughs> and then with the, with the uh, line that he said in... Uh, well, than that he said before, where he was like, Triple H has done everything in this business except beat me. <laughs> <laughs> that played about ten times through the video. And then it was just him saying, kiss my ass. <laughs> and then you just up. fucked up again. <laughs> that was the last perfect. It was better than last week and the week before. Wasn't as good as Nicholas, but oh, no. he's getting up to his standards. That's a, well, <laughs> can only explain. Um, where do you think this is going then? <coughs> My um my my gist of things, the only reason why he's been brought in is for a bit of star power. Yes. Um. That's literally it. Uh, has he? Has he got any films coming out? Is um he's got the new Endgame, hasn't he? The new Marvel film. Yeah, new Avengers. He's new got. Avengers. Oh, so he's actually filming a film called Dune. D U N E. Dune. Which is apparently it's filming it's now. Like, so that's right. That's 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 really weird because normally within their contracts, they that's say right. you can't yeah. you can't do any um, any form of uh, physical activity. Mm-hmm. Obviously, just in case he gets himself injured, like Triple H always fucking does. If Batista gets himself injured, then he basically fucks up the whole filming. Um, but he's got escape plan. Escape plan. The Extractors, um, which is coming out this year, that's in post production, and My Spy. Um, but yeah, that's. There's a lot um, of stuff to say. What's, what's that? He's doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, he he tries to keep himself busy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just find that really weird. I, do, do, you think, do you think he'll have much of a match? Um, probably not. At that point, I don't think. I think I don't think they can go on for that long anymore. I mean, it's quite funny how he's had no physical activity 
no. uh, since he came back about a month ago, I think. Yeah. Something like that. He's literally just attacked Flair. Um, and then uh, he did a he did a, a pre-recorded promo. Um, yeah. And then he did what he did last last Monday. And then... Well, that's, that's literally all that he's done. He hasn't... Pretty much, yeah. He hasn't done anything at all, actually. Which, that might be the reason, because obviously he's filming, so probably not allowed to do too much. So do you think... Who's your pick yeah, and that. why? Um, I'm going to say it'll be Triple H winning. Yeah. Mainly because they've, they brought in the whole, if Triple H loses... His career, oh, he's meant to be retiring, right? isn't he? Yeah, exactly, of course. Yeah. But they've not mentioned that that's not been like a big part of it. And if, the, if that's the case, he ain't gonna lose, is he? It's good, really yeah. It was just something just retire. to put on the card, yeah, just to hype it up a bit it. more. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's obviously gonna be Triple H, um, yeah. which is quite strange as well because Batista apparently, uh. Was it when Brian won at WrestleMania 30? Or 30? Yeah. 30, maybe? 30. Something like that? Yeah. Um, apparently, Batista was meant to win the Rumble. Well, which he did. And then he was meant to go in and win at Mania. But obviously, because yeah, yeah. of fan, fan backlash, that didn't happen. As far as I'm aware, no one, no fan cares about Triple H and Batista. No. It's, it's, just, no. it's just a match which has put them both... Um, just a match for Triple H, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. It's just for uh, Paul to feel, yeah. feel happy about himself. Paul but if you look at the rest of the him. card, yeah. And if you look at the rest of the card, though, there's not that many big like big names as such. I think it's just a, a spectacle match. Yeah. Uh, I look at these two guys that have been in the business, you know, Batista for the last 15 years, Triple that's H for it. the last 20 the something few, years. Sort of like WrestleMania is where it's not been focused on like past stars. It's all like yeah. now and now stars. Which at last, finally. Yeah. Why is yeah. it why is it taking them so long to think, you know what, we need to start building our own characters now. Yeah. And uh I mean they're I doing Yeah, they're doing pretty decent with that at last. Um you got Triple H. Yeah. Um Just for balance then. I'll go for Batista. And uh, shall we go to the real main event or the main event of what they want us to believe is the main event? Um, let's go to the real one. <laughs> Rosie, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. Um, let's go. It could see. I could see it going two ways. Because they could just... Nah, it's going to go one way, and that's Becky Lynch. Just 100%. Biggest field it's not going there. anywhere else. Um, no. Rousey's got a career with her sacks. Yeah. Um, she's she's busy after Mania, having, having lots of sacks practice. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> Flair's, Flair's literally just been put into it just to... Just to spice things up, just to make it look. Sh- uh, Sh- Charlotte's playing here, isn't she? Um, it's it's a weird situation. It's like, kind of yeah, like it's like, but it's she's like a baby face when she's with Ronda, she's a heel when she's with Becky, and then Ronda's just a heel both ways. <laughs> it's, it's it's weird. Either way, there's only one. Person. There's only one outcome, 100%. It's oh, going yeah. to be Becky. Uh, the reason why I think uh, Oscar lost the belt was just to make um, this whole triple threat match go against Lynch, uh, which will then obviously make a bigger pop for when she does win. Yeah. And then everyone's going to be happy. They'll be sent home, ev- and not, everybody will be best friends again. They've not mentioned anything about unifying the titles. So I don't think they're unifying the titles either. Yeah, so, so Steph came out gonna... on Raw and said, I'm, I'm going to spice things up and I'm going to put the SmackDown title in into the into the match as well. But for no reason. Like, yeah. why? 
well, why have you bothered doing that for? I is this is this the start of the bland the the bland the brand split the brand split could be back together? I, I don't think it is. Just because I, I don't know. I, I, I think she's going to end up relinquishing it all in about a month. Who Lynch? Yeah, I reckon she'll just take one title, and that's whatever show she decides. Oh, okay, to okay. right, right, right. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought I thought you meant that she was just going to give both uh, oh, both no. of the belts up. No, no, no. Like I'm like I'm thinking like in like you know MMA when you like say McGregor when he had two titles but he had to win. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping it will be that sort of thing. He he can only go into one one weight category. Can't exactly yeah. defend both. Uh, yeah. What's the stipulation? Is it is it a case of who, whoever pins? Oh, it's whoever pins wins everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I just think it's really weird. Why? Why would they put both belts onto one person? I know. When there's like no stipulation for it. No. They've just done it just to put the name on the card. It's like overcomplicated a bit. Yeah. But they've done that with the whole storyline. It's like, then does that mean that we all know that Lynch is going to win, let's face it. Uh, Lynch is going to be on Raw and Smackdown over the next two, three months and, until she either loses one of them or they get unified. If they do yeah. get unified, is one brand going to have the women's belt or... Smackdown? Uh, because then... Actually, that makes sense because then if SmackDown has the women's belt, then you've got Raw having the women's tag team belt, yeah. and then it's not oversaturated. No, take it, take a few down, a few titles out. Then there'll be the women's in, in, intercontinental championship, <laughs> and then <laughs> cruise away. <laughs> we have to make things equal. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. all right, but there's a way of doing it. Don't just women's do it for the sake of it. <laughs> One hundred and five. Yeah, uh, One hundred and five. I'm surprised they haven't uh, done a women's only show yet. Although, uh, actually, I only found out a couple of weeks ago. No, a couple of days ago. How poor um, Evolution the the uh, the actual pay per view did. Um, there was less than ten thousand people within attendance, which is one of their lowest ever uh, attendance figures. It's stupid. Like I don't know if you saw any of it, but it was essentially like a house show as well. Yeah, like, it was. It was, it was just, just a, metal, but it was a house show. Yeah, metal I wouldn't barrier. even say a glorified house show. It was no, just. It was a house show. We, with cameras we need to put something on, and so as our um, stakeholders look at us and go, "We're being nice and progressive. Yeah. Um, we're not sexist. We we give everybody an equal opportunity." Um, so well, let's just what put was it, a week later they had a stadium show for just men. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that surprisingly sold out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> imagine having like big names that 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 can actually sell tickets. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm I am a hundred percent for. I thought there's a ghost coming into your room then. Oh no, it's a cat. As the cat. <laughs> it's like, geez, dude, look behind you. Hello. Uh, welcome to uh, DNA. DNA. DNA <laughs> and uh, don't get me wrong I'm completely up for the whole uh, women having a fair chance blah 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 um, it's much better than what it was having them uh, just have bra and panties matches all the time which oh, was yeah. good don't get me wrong I enjoyed it oh, I enjoyed but, that as a 10 year old <laughs> I remember Kat, Kat uh, stripping off and Armageddon uh, 1999 yep. When I was ten I'll years old. Those days forever. <laughs> Got constant voted for him all since then. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's it's just nice and refreshing. Not not seeing. I know I'm going to sound like an SJW saying this, but them, but women being exploited. Oh, you can't yeah. exploit them. It's like no, it's, it's 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 not that. It's what it's what sells tickets. That's what it is. That's what um, it is. Yeah, I can go on to a massive rant about that, but this is not the point. Or, the, yeah, this is not the time to do it. We've both got Lynch. Yeah. I think so too. I don't think um, anyone else is going any of the any of 
I don't think so. It's they've been they've been hyping this storyline up, which has been very good. But yeah. and my you're not going one off air to booze. Yes, yeah. And my one point that I found quite funny with this is they've been acting Lynch out as if she's like the 1999 Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh yeah, and like she's like being a proper rebel. You know, calling himself the man. You know, whew, naughty. What do you make of them having uh, free criminals as the main event or something? <laughs> yeah, they've all been arrested. Oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, the uh, following match is... Uh, they've actually all been arrested, so... Speaking uh, why uh, a <laughs> Wrestling's fucking weird. Oh. Um, yeah, so they're all uh, convicted criminals. Uh, so they're all going to main event mania. Yeah, I love it. I love the whole. Kind of love the whole Stone Cold esque uh, thing to Lynch. Um, I love the whole realness of Rousey, and Sharp's yeah. just been put in there because of her dad. That's literally yeah. <laughs> we kind of have to I'm make her happy. Charlotte. No, I liked her in NXT. Kind of. Yeah, I they... liked her in NXT, but I didn't. I didn't like her because they just kept playing the whole. By the way, it's Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't care. She can I do a that doesn't bother me. She can, do a she, uh, she can also do a, a fucking cartwheel too. Like, right. You don't see Brock Lesnar doing cartwheels, do you? Nope. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> he did a moonsault though once. Didn't go he... too well for him. Yeah, yeah he, he, he fucked that up. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It was a uh, what the fuck's it called? Uh, shooting star. That's the one. And, uh, That's the one. Yeah. He, star. he he messed that up pretty badly. Fucked up his neck. Which right? um, leads us nicely into the last match: Lesnar and Seth. Um. See my. I changed on Monday night. Halfway after yeah. Monday night, just for the old rule of whoever stands tall. Yeah. Loses. loses. Um, and I was reading that that got changed. It was meant to be the other way around before Raw, and it got changed last minute. Have you been reading the same dirt sheets as me? Quite possibly. <laughs> but that's what I read. Um, and if that's the case, Vince has changed. Vince has got his guy in he? He's probably he's probably been looking at pictures of Brock Lesnar this past weekend. I'm cracking one out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those muscles. <laughs> well, I'll take the title of him. Um, I Lesnar's my boy. He always I has been since Lesnar. he came back. Yeah. Uh, he came back. When was it? 2004? No, 2014. I mean, sorry. Uh, when he uh, when he confronted Cena. Yeah. Um, 2012. He's been my boy then, and he'll always be my boy. The best um, time he had since he come back was uh, he, uh, he 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 went off on a promo, and then at the end of the promo, he went, "Say something stupid, Paul," and then he shut <laughs> the mic up. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love fucking that. love Lesnar. He I love that care. he yeah he don't give a shit. Oh, I, he's there for the money, and he doesn't hide that fact. Which, fair play to him. That's that's why I like him even more. He's honest. He turns up. He gets his six-figure salary every yeah. every fucking three months, and then he just walks away, and then he doesn't care. And then, <laughs> uh, do you think he's going back to to, uh, to the UFC? I imagine there's going to be um, probably one more fight for him there. He's so When's his so his suspension was it was reported that Lesnar was notified UFC he's retiring, but because of but because he's notified them of being retired, the suspension still st- still carries on. Uh, that was in to, uh, February two thousand seventeen. No, oh, well, but he come out July, the time, didn't he? and then they was like, yeah. So then July two thousand eighteen. Uh, he, he stormed the cage uh, looking at Cormier 
And then on July the 8th, 2018, he's confirmed that Lesnar had begun the process to get back into the... Okay, tri- it's already tri- over. Pool. So, yeah. Uh, how long was the, the, the suspension for? Um, I think it was six months. Oh, that's well over then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's already over. It finished in January. Fairs. Um, do you think he'll go back? I think if the right fight's there for him, I think the right fight with the right money, it's got to be one of them, isn't it? The thing is, if he does go back, it's because of the passion. Because why would he go back and earn, if he wins, a potential million dollars for a fight? Or you can turn up to the WWE... Saudi six, Arabia six times. Well, yeah, just yeah, just even that. For the sake of, what, two days, you know... A flight there, wrestle well, say wrestle, like a five minute match and then fly back, then he's made like half a mil. Yeah. Why why would you bother? Take the easy money, wouldn't you? Exactly. So if he does go back to, uh, to the UFC, it is literally because he because he wants to have another fight. Yeah. Um do you think he will? Uh, I don't know, because he's making really simple money here, so why why would he bother? And when he's, he's made- when he's making the money he is with WWE and when he can do shows like Saudi Arabia and only turn up four times a year why would you bother? well what's the point of changing? because he's going to have to go through all his training camps where he'll be away from his kids his wife yeah. away from home then he's going to go into a fight where he might get freaking hurt you're not going to do it are you? has he got kids? I don't know I just assume so. If he's got kids, imagine saying that my dad's Brock Lesnar. Imagine. <laughs> I just, I just assumed like you look at him and he, he probably looked oh, at the table and she became pregnant. Like <laughs> that's the sort of man Lesnar is. Lesnar just looked at Sable and she became pregnant. Uh, yeah. Together they have two sons, a boy named um, Turk, born, born ugh, geez, Turk born in two thousand nine. Uh, so he's what ten, and Duke born two thousand ten, so he's nine. Imagine sitting there in school, a bully comes up to you, and goes, "Give me fucking lunch money." You just go, "Mate, <laughs> my dad's Brock Lesnar," and his advocate, Paul. Hey, man. <laughs> I mean, you can get a picture of Brock Lesnar's daughter. Here. Uh, is she of age? She looks like if you'd cut her hair off. She was born in 2002, so she's uh, she's almost legal. Well, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not right, mate. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's his son. Hold on. He's got... Oh, no, sorry, he's... Okay, right, so Lesnar's got two kids with Sable. Okay, uh, yeah. Lesnar also has twins, a daughter named Maya Lynn, and a yeah. son named Luke. Okay. I'm okay, Luke, Maya. Luke, Luke Lesnar... He was born in 2002, apparently. If that's him, fuck me, that's a spitting image. Uh, do Brock Lesnar have kids? I took uh, Luke's son. I uh, can't seem to find... So that was with Nicole McLean, whoever that is. And if that's... That can't be him. Brock Lesnar, oh, that's probably his son. His son looks like a bit of a pussy. I wouldn't say that to his face, don't get me wrong. Oh, no. One second, <laughs> let me get my dad. Um, yeah, oh, that's, so that, so that's him. I can't seem to copy his picture. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me gap. So that's, just copied it for the uh, the the video, but that's and that's his son apparently. Fucking Le- not me He looks like a bit of a punt, doesn't he? It looks like he should be in a boy band or something. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't say that to his face. <laughs> My dad's Brock Lesnar. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'll just leave you to it.
Lesnar and Seth. He won the Rumble. He's literally had nothing to do with anything for nope. the past two months, mu- three months, three months, three months. Three months. And we all know he's going to come back, or is he? My my reasoning, <clears throat> my reasoning behind this is because let's face it, Lesnar beat um, Lesnar's beat Taker. Yeah. Just because of Taker. Like obviously, no one's been able to do that before, apart from superhero reigns. Doesn't make sense for Lesnar to lose clean um, to someone nope. that's half the size of Roman, as in Seth. And um, what? Why? Why would it even slightly make sense for Seth to win? It doesn't now, does it? I really don't want him to. I don't. Brock's my boy, and I'm. And I'm going with Lesnar. Simple. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it should. Yeah, I think it's going to be. But I'll, I'll say Seth just to a uh, split just to, just to just to make things. Yeah. Make things interesting. Maybe they won't. That they'll go beyond the standing tall on Raw and then have him winning as well. So we're always second guessing. Yeah. What if they do a step on us? In the they do. Team, I mean. They do need to do something to to surprise. I mean, yeah. I can see Lesnar going over just because Becky's going on last and she's going yeah. to win. She'll she'll be the one sent, sending the crowd home happy. Yeah. So they'll put Lesnar on winning before her, and so he probably won't piss the crowd off too much. No. I mean, I don't care I don't about think people are out. No, I don't think anyone is. No one's. Well, they've they've ne- they've not given us a reason apart I from think it's that title, though. The shit, yeah. It's I think yeah. I think it is more of a case of getting the title off of Lesnar, and then obviously having like literally anybody. I mean, they could put fucking yeah, yeah. Rey Mysterio beating Brock, you know, for the belt just to. Well, okay, Rey's probably not the best. Um, who's who's a really shit boring person? Uh, Corbin, he'll do. <laughs> Even if Corbin uh, went against Brock, I can see people wanting uh, Corbin to win just to get the belt off of him. Brock's 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 doing his uh, gimmick perfect. Um, yeah, he comes out, he does the least amount possible, and then he leaves. That's exactly what I want to see. I think it's brilliant. I think so. And uh, that's that's what that's exactly who I want. I want to win. Uh, Les is my boy. Always has. Always will. One day I'll give him a hug. And then I love a, a, a quicker uh, kiss on the cheek, and then I'll sprint. Fast. Well, <laughs> I, prob- I probably won't get very far. He'll yeah. probably still catch me and kick my ass, but it'll be, yeah. it'll be, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. <laughs> You've got the story. <laughs> got the story. Don't think well, could... you'll remember the story after it's finished. Here, but... I'm, I'm probably <laughs> six feet under. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly touch on Elias. Uh, what do you think he's doing? Um, I reckon you'll see him three or four times throughout the show. Do you think he'll get cut off? Every single time. Who by? I reckon you're going to have different people cut him off. And I reckon they're going to be like, they're, they're going to be nos, like nostalgia. Nostalgia? Sort of moments. You'll have, you'll have, okay, I think you'll have. Yeah, double J. Double J. J E double F. J A double R E double T. I love. I just love every single time how he says that. He puts so much emphasis on the E double T. Uh, he'll come out. He he will. He'll get his revenge. Yeah. On um, Elias. Uh, since I think he's he'll be the final him. person who interrupts him. I think. I think he'll be probably the either the first or the second to the last. I think the last will be DX. DX will come out and just completely show him up. Proper, typical DX style. DX they'll... minus Paul. DX minus, like, the fucking rest of the band. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they bring out a cardboard cut out of China, that, that'd be quite cool. Um, <laughs> but they'll, they'll, they'll do some fun... I, okay, yeah, okay, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. What they'll do is they'll have Elias have his own part of the stage... And they'll end his segment with dropping 
uh, green gunk or gunge, whatever it is, on top of the lights. <laughs> You're a stupid heel. <laughs> we used to do this all the time because we're yeah. rebels. <laughs> and then that segment will just end. Yeah. Um, Don't see it being great for him, but. Double Jail come out and interrupt, and probably Nicholas will come out, play the tambourine. Even better than the way. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I just come up with that off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine, Im- imagine Nicholas coming out and just interrupting him, and Maybe then like he trips over the last strobe. Learning guitar though, like, just to outplay. <laughs> he's been tipping over jeeps, and then he's been learning how to play the guitar. That would exactly. be amazing. Fucking love. What could you want? Fucking love Nicholas. <laughs> um, any other surprises? Um. <sighs> I think there's too much for any more. It's going to be a long show. It's Jesus gonna, it's, shit, it's going to be long. I think it starts at 9 o'clock Sunday night for us. Is it really 9? I think it's 9 on the pre-show, and then it finishes, I think, either half 5 or half 6. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'm uh, working from home. Uh, well, yeah, I am working from home, but, but my manager does, doesn't know that I'm doing this. And so she's. I just need to make it look like I'm online. Um, I've just saw as well, uh, reported yesterday, no, re- uh, reported today, apparently Lars Sullivan has tweeted, he's tweeted to, um, fuck who was it now? Uh, I've lost the tweet. I've actually lost the tweet, that's really annoying. Um, oh no, sorry, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Uh, Lars Sullivan confronts Elias. Sorry, that was it. Oh. Okay. Uh, apparently he tweeted him. Elias said... <clears throat> okay, sorry. Yeah, Elias said, I'm, I'm, I'm so multi-talented, charismatic, unique, unlike any superstar, past or present, and beyond that at WWE, often doesn't know what to do with me. But at WrestleMania, they get it right. An uninterrupted full performance is almost all I've ever wanted. And then Lars goes, they don't, they don't, they don't know what, they don't, they don't know what to do with you, huh? I'll tell you what, the old Solster knows exactly what to do with you. All I'm saying is you better play a good song at Mania. So, oh, okay. uh, there's a possible, there's, there's a possible thing. As you said, several people will interrupt. Um, yeah. Double J, Lars. Lars could probably be the last one, though. The thing is, if Lars... If Lars if makes Lars his debut at Mania... Exactly, yeah. I mean, I've I've only seen him a couple of times on NXT. If yeah. if, if, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know who well, he was. Mania, I'll just look at him and go, Snitsky. At Mania, you have yeah. a load more casuals. Yeah. The thing is, I, I look at Lars and I just think of fucking Snitsky. Yeah. Like he yeah. looks exactly like Snitsky. Um rumours apart the from that, just apart from the yellow teeth, you just need to dye them a little bit. Um more backstage news on Seth and Brock. Um the original plans uh, yeah, ex- exactly what you said earlier on. Lesnar t- t- to a layout Rollins. Um the reason why they did that was to make it look like Seth had a fighting chance. Um which he realistically he fucking doesn't. And if he gets more than two hits on Brock, I'm going to be pissed. Because um, Brock's my boy. I, imagine, imagine the tag team of Brock and Nicholas. Oh, exactly. unstoppable! Wow. <laughs> you can well, imagine. I'm, Nick and Nicholas have my out for money in the bank. I could, <laughs> I could, I could, I could see it happening. Uh, you could put Seth their training videos side by side. Be the exact <laughs> <laughs> throwing the jeeps together. Oh my god! I could I could just see it now happening. You've got um you've got like Seth like yeah you, sorry you, you've got um Brock beating up on Seth like proper smashing him one. Brock's there like fucking taking his head off, and then I all and then I, and then all you hear is get these. Hands. And then, like, <laughs> Nicholas comes out. I'm going to fucking have you, Brock. I'm going to have you. He's just, like, strolling to the ring. He just, like, trips him up. And then, like, in a uh, um, Scooby-Doo cartoon fashion, whoop, 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 and then he just falls on his back. <laughs> Seth jumps on Brock, pins him, pins him for the three count. Or was, this is why I'm not a writer for the uh, for, for the WWE. I probably wouldn't be taken too seriously. But, uh, well, I mean, Nicholas would. 
Nicholas I would. <laughs> and fucking, and I love Nicholas. We tried to, um, we tried to get him to uh, to come onto the stream on Sunday, but he hasn't replied. I'm guessing he's either too busy with school, too or busy he's too busy training, tipping over jeeps. Um, oh, yeah. Hopefully, we can get him some sort of video, uh, which will be fucking awesome. Uh, but to round it off, we're actually going to be streaming um, the WrestleMania event this coming Sunday. Starting at 9 o'clock. Fucking hell, man. I'm going to be done by like 3. Yeah. For, you know, if drinking, I'll be knackered. I'll be absolutely sh done. But um, it's going to be good. This is the very first DNA wrestling, wrestling fash style podcast. The greatest podcast you'll ever hear, anyway. Um, okay. Anything else to say? Anything else to add? You got any socials? Sounds, Throw those socials out. I think you've just got to prepare yourself for a nine hour WrestleMania show. Yeah, I'll probably just start sleeping now. Yeah. And I might, uh, I might be okay for it, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to the length, but I'm, I, I actually am looking forward to, uh, to the actual pay-per-view. Yeah, same here. I actually am for, for the first time in about it, five also, years. I think just going back to it not being full of like old stars. I'm yeah. just enjoying that fact for once. Uh, absolutely. Like some fresh faces for once. Yeah. So some um, fresh matchups. Yeah. Yeah, as far as I can tell that none of these guys have wrestled each other before, more or less. Apart yeah. from Lashley Lashley Lashley, Lashley Barla. Lashley um is. Apart from the demon. <laughs> Fresh map. Uh, yeah, I think apart from that, it's pretty much a fresh card. But um, that was the uh, DNA podcast WrestleMania special. We might do some more. What do you think? I think so. I think that, that was good fun. I think so too. But um, that was uh, DNA talks wrestling. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know?